Your HTML email application allows you to send custom emails to your clients using photos and text with a very simple word processor type interface. Here is a sample of what your clients can expect to see. Here is how you do it. First decide who you're going to send the email to. In the upper left corner you will see the address book groups. You expand the groups by clicking on the group name. Then just click on the contact within the group that you want to send the email to. You will then see the recipient name field and the recipient email field filled out for you. Or you can fill that out by hand. You can send your emails to a single individual or to an entire group at one time. To send your email to an entire group, simply select the group that you want to send the email to, then click the radio button that says yes. When you send your email, it will be sent to everyone in that group. For this tutorial, I'm only going to send it to one individual, so I will select no next to the question asking if I want to send it to the whole group. Next I want to decide on a descriptive email subject, so I'll just type in the word tutorial. You will notice that my emails come pre-designed with a nice header including my agent photo, the broker logo, and my contact information. Now for the sake of simplicity, I just want to show you how to send my contact one of my listings. Now I'm going to scroll the screen down so that I can look at the lower left side of my screen where I will see a drop down list showing me all of my available listing flyers. If I now click on the address I want, the thumbnail appears of the flyer that I want to include in my email. I click the button that says add this listing and the information for that flyer will appear in my email. And since it's always a good idea to send a text version of my email along with the HTML version, I may want to copy and paste some of the text that is in the HTML version and paste it down into the text only portion of my email. The text only version is not required but can be very helpful for those people who don't have an email application that will open up pictures. I may want to further modify my email with a newsletter. If that's the case, just click one of the buttons labeled Add Newsletter Theme and pick a color. Now if I scroll down and review my newsletter, I see that I have a nice newsletter template ready to be customized. I can change anything with the simple word processor interface. This interface is the same one you will use to design your custom web pages. Now for the last step, I simply scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click Send Email. When I do that, the email gets sent, and then if I scroll down again, I will see a visual representation of the email I just sent to my client. After sending the email, I now have the option to review it near the top left portion of the screen where I will see the subject for my email and a button to allow me to view the email. If I like this email and want to use it as a template, I just give it a template name. and click Save as New Template. 
When I do that, I now see it as an optional get template in the drop down box directly below where I can now reload that template. Ready to resend. When I go to view the email that was sent, I will see the name and the time and date that it was sent. I click the view email button where I then have the option to not only review it but also to delete it if need be.